Good morning, caregivers. It is Tasty Thursday on Let's Talk Dementia Live here on Facebook. I'm glad you joined me. Today is April 4th, and this show comes to you from Rock Hill, South Carolina, where today we're supposed to be in the 70s, and on Tuesday it snowed. Somebody needs to explain to me how it can snow when the temperature was 37 degrees. That makes no sense whatsoever, and it didn't just snow, it actually got on the ground and stuck a little bit. Makes no sense, that is not supposed to happen, but I'm glad you've joined us here today. I would like to thank our sponsors, Life in the Carolinas. You can find them at lifeinthecarolinas.com and on YouTube. I would like for you to click on the link that says Featured Content. There'll be a drop down, and you can click on the story that says Remembering No More, A Story of Change. That's the story about my sweet mama. I get to go see her in just a little bit, and I'm excited. Vitamin Depot on Selenies Road. They are behind Dunkin' Donuts and Burger King. Their phone number is 803-328-5800. Ask them about aloe vera juice. Now, this is not the container it comes in. It, I buy it in a gallon, which is a little much for a girl with thumb problems to handle. So I pour it in this container, and it is totally clear. Mmm. Tastes like water, looks like water. I do two big swigs a day. And da da, aloe vera. It's great aloe vera juice. And then HD Imports, locate, located on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill. They've been in business since 1999. They are the mechanic of choice for the Howell household. And they work for my sweet mama when she had a car. And they work on Hondas, Acuras, Toyotas, Hyundai, and Kia. You can call them at 803-985-0985. Tell them Carol sent you. Well, today we're going to make a recipe that I came up with. If you've stuck around with me very much, you have learned that the Howell House really likes cranberries and cranberry sauce. And again, we've got the upside down can of cranberry sauce. And everything I'm using today, and I left an ingredient in the refrigerator, everything I'm using today came from Aldi. So I'm just gonna break up this cranberry sauce with a knife because we're gonna use about half a can of it. And you guys just hold right one moment right there. Michael, tell him something funny. Michael's my cameraman. I absolutely forgot to get this out of the refrigerator. I try so hard to be organized. I'm telling you, there is no chance, and you know what, of HG, or, yeah, no, Food Network wanting to do a show with Carol, huh? First, we're going to start with this. I want you to mix together a half a cup of mayonnaise and a quarter cup of mustard just regular mustard, unless you like spicy, then use Dijon, and mix it together. To that, I add three packages of sweet leaf that you can buy at Vitamin Depot. Um, shake them down real good, stir that into half cup of mayonnaise, quarter cup of mustard, three packages of sweet leaf. Then, you have this wonderful dressing. You will use this stuff on everything. We use it for salad dressing, we use it um, instead of ketchup or barbecue sauce. Um, I take this and make all kinds of other salads with it. It is so good. Everybody who tries it says, what is in that? And it's just those three simple little ingredients. So we're gonna put this about a half a jar of cranberry sauce in here, or half a can of cranberry sauce for this particular recipe. You know, when that lid comes off, I use one of those canapers that cuts on the side. If you don't have one, they're so much safer. Cuts on the side, then you can just replace that lid and stick it back in the fridge. We're gonna use a whole can of mandarin oranges that I have drained. Put those in there. Okay. Ooh, let me get a clean spoon because I've already got that one dirty. And I am going to use this um, orange mustard dressing and I'm probably going to put two big spoonfuls in there. Stir that together. This is going to be the easiest recipe. I forgot to tell you what I'm making. <laughs> I'm making cran orange slaw. So this is my dressing. Now, stir it up good. Mm, you just want to sit down and eat this right here. It's good. Now we have what is a wonderful dressing. You can use this as your dressing on your salad. If you make a, like a chef salad or a garden salad, use this as your dressing. Oh my word, it's heavenly, it is heavenly. But today, we're gonna take a bag of already chopped up slaw because girl is busy. 
cameraman making some awful faces back there. Everything okay? <laughs> um, straight from Aldi. If you've got time to chop up that cabbage, you're going to save money doing that. And kudos to you. If you saw my calendar for today, you would know this makes my life easier. Now, I bet it does for you, too. And it's not that expensive. That in there. Don't forget to recycle that. And then, for the simple, 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 put that right in there on top of that cabbage. And get my handicapped, um, what you call these things, salad forks. Michael, somebody really needs to buy me some salad forks. We're going to stir that in there. Now, after you get it stirred up, if you think, hmm, that still looks a little bit of dry, a little bit dry, then add a little more of that uh, mayonnaise mustard. I have to admit, I've made this so many times, and I've never once measured the ingredients because you just make it by sight. It takes a little bit of stirring to get that all incorporated good in there. Oh, but it's looking good. I'm going to show it to you here in just a minute. This is something that if my mama could still easily eat a food like this, she would enjoy because she loves cranberries and she loves oranges. My mama's having a lot of difficult get, difficulty getting food on a fork or on a spoon. And if she does get it on that utensil, then getting it to her mouth is a challenge. And so many times what was on that fork or spoon then falls off. All right, I think let's add just a little bit more of that dressing because what's going to happen is this is going to sit all day long for us, and it is better if it sits for a little bit. We will not be back home until later. Oh, it's perfect now. And it just kind of, as Paula Dean used to say, it will marry. The ingredients will marry. Well, it's got, it's got mayonnaise. That's her other favorite word. It's got mayonnaise in it, so <laughs> she would be proud. All right, here we go. There you go. Cran, can you see it, Michael? Cran orange salad. Oh, it is so good. I'm going to put a little bit in a bowl, small bowl here. Let me make sure I make sure I get some of those mandarin oranges. Mm -mm -mm. Girl does love those. And so the, the cranberry sauce just incorporates into it. You don't have big chunks of cranberry sauce, but you do have the wonderful mandarin oranges here at breakfast. Mm-hmm. That is good. It needs no salt, nothing like that. It's just happy, happy, happy. And it's pretty, too. Mm-mm-mm, choo-choo. Slaw is chewy, isn't it? It's pretty on the plate, a little extra color. Cran orange slaw. You're going to like that. Let me move this stuff out of the way for right now. Mm, I hope you'll try that. And when you do, write me and tell me how wonderful you think it is. <laughs> and if you don't like it, just keep it to yourself. I don't want to know. I did set my timer, and I forgot to press the start button. I wanted to talk to you today also about working with someone who is having trouble eating. And that is my mom. My mama is having trouble eating. And we have to take the fork and load the food onto it and put it in, I'll hold it, hand it to her, and she'll reach for it most of the time. But sometimes we're reaching for it in all kinds of weird ways. So I'm trying to get it up in her hand. Now, you've picked up a fork a trillion and 12 times in your life. You just did it without thinking about it. But when you go to help somebody put it in their hand, you feel real awkward. How do you put it? Where does it rest? And you need to think about that. But most of the time it's gonna rest on that middle finger with the thumb on top. That other finger's just gonna naturally go into place. But when you're helping someone, you gotta stop and think about that. It just doesn't come naturally for you, but you want to help them. If they are having a hard time getting that fork or spoon to their mouth, my mom is shaky. So if she's shaky, the stuff falls off. Then you wanna take your hand and put your hand on top of their hand. Now, you don't want to take that fork or spoon and just stick it in their mouth. That's uncomfortable. If I come right at your face with something, you're going to pull back. But if your hand comes to your face, that's natural. That's something you've done many, 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 many millions of times in your life. So I want to bring your hand to your face, but I've got to help guide it. So it's called hand over hand. If you are right-handed, then use your right hand to do that because you don't want to be shaky using your left hand where you're not as steady. So you want to take your hand and put it over their hand and just help guide that fork or that spoon to their mouth. If they're not opening their mouth, you can tap 
that many times that will help. Or even, and you can wash later, tap. They can feel the coldness or the warmth, tap, they'll open. We've always got napkins where we can wipe up. We're not concerned about that. Another thing to think about is if you've got a plate of food sitting there and you realize your loved one is only eating from one side of that plate of food, that is not unusual. That happens very often in folks who've had a stroke, but I am seeing it with my mama who has Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. She is eating on the left side of her plate, and I hadn't noticed it so much until Michael pointed it out for me, and he said, I was working with your mama when um, she was eating lunch today, and she was eating off the left side of her plate. So what do you do? Do you go, hey, you got food over here, eat that too. No, just turn the plate. And now what was on the right side is on the left side. Isn't that magical? So you want to do that. And then they can enjoy what's on that side of the plate. You can always, you know, take your fork and move it around, but it's just easier to turn the plate and then they have that experience of eating what was on that side. And it's just a more pleasant experience for them. Well, I hope that gives you some tips for feeding your loved one and for feeding yourself today because we'll be having some of this slaw for supper tonight. I want you to join me today at noon on WRHI Radio, 1340 AM, for the show Close Up Fort Mill TVK with Patty Mercer. I will be interviewed by her. I had the pro the privilege of sitting down with Patty last Thursday, and what a blessing. What a beautiful woman she is, both inside and out. You know, she's a former beauty queen, and um, girl felt a little self-conscious in front of her, let me tell you. It would be easier if she were ugly, but she is not. She is beautiful, but her heart just is so, oh, just a beautiful inside she has, a beautiful heart. So join me today, 1340 a.m. on WRHI Radio. We've got our fundraiser going, got sneakers, don't throw them away. Donate them and we will get $1 for every pair you donate. Thank you for to the folks in the neighborhood where Susie Wright lives. Oh, my word, they, two women brought to her house like 14, 16 pairs of shoes, bang, just like that. How much fun is that? Ask your neighbors, do you have shoes you're not wearing? Give them to me and then you bring them and you can donate them at In Rock Hill, Dr. Epps office on Selenese Road, past Moore's Grocery and Grill on Saluda Street, your travel services on East Black Street, Rock Hill Tennis Center on Cherry Road, Mixed Fit at the B-Fit Studios on White Street, Little Cafe, Rock Hill and on Cherry Road, St. John's United Methodist Church in the YMCA at Riverwalk. In Chester, you can go to the Old Richburg Road Chester Golf Club, and in Gastonia, we have a box at Trinity United Methodist Church. Drop off your shoes. At a dollar a shoe, we can make a difference in the world of tired and um, overworked and underappreciated caregivers. I don't know if you hear the little click, click, click in the background, but that's our miniature dachshund. And she has to have, make that click sound when she walks so we know where she is. She sneaks in on us. Well, today's scripture is from Jeremiah 29, 11. We'll finish the week on this scripture. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, to give plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. Well, I know the plans I have for today, and I'm hoping the Lord is in all those plans. And I hope He is for you too. A thank you to our sponsors, Vitamin Depot, located on Selenese Road. Give them a call at 803-328-5800. Life in the Carolinas. Go to lifeinthecarolinas.com and check out the wide variety of shows they have about living in the Carolinas. And HD Imports on Flint Street Extension, 803-985-0985. Good care for your Hondas, Acuras, Toyotas, Hyundai, and Kia. Tell all these folks Carol sent you. Well, I hope your caregiving journey today is a blessed one. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope I get to sleep late tomorrow. I truly do. I hope you do too. Bye-bye.